side, the show that's totally committed to the main show. They don't need to worry about us meeting up with our exes. Mm. Uh, what a show it was again tonight. Drama, drama, drama. Here's a recap. But just be aware that the closest person to you in the house and that you don't want a history of peace yourself. You've got hurt already last year and you don't want it to happen again. I need to clarify the word dating. <laughs> If you're serious about me and you're serious about us, you have got to be up front with me. Really didn't expect to come in here and find someone like Steven. We need to see if people you have an effect on every voice. Mm. We can't even see it for the Ash just because he's very close to hell. What does he do for me and us? Do you feel like you masterminded the outcome of yeah. the relations? I really do. I like, feel like I've made some sort of evil plan. Basically. Ashley is the biggest two-faced bitch side of If I felt like three Mac. people were jumping in on you, even if you were in the wrong, I'd stick yeah. up for you just because you'd be one against today. I always feel like you're kind of getting picked on. <laughs> Everyone, like, I think it's goes against that I can you. It. And as long as you don't go back to that place on your own at all, and as long as your goods are removed, and as long as you don't have any communication with him, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, okay, let's meet tonight's panel. First up, here's the acid-tongued journalist who isn't afraid to give the housemates a right good going over. It's the award-winning and very lovely Patrick Stradwick. <laughs> Next up, a singing, songwriting pop prince who made it all the way to the final when he was in the house. He's the same old brand new Ben Adams. Very good. And finally, she is a big brother legend. So popular, she entered the house not once, not twice, but three times. Who is she? Nikki Rose! Nikki's back! Would you mind removing your shoe from my microphone? <laughs> Very much. It's okay. Uh, right, let's talk about tonight's show. So, oh, so much again went on. Uh, so tonight we saw Stephen and Ashley get messages from home, and oh my goodness, the floodgates opened. Uh, Nikki, you've been in there. Why? Why do you get so emotional when you get these messages? It's you know, it's not forever that you're gone. It's just a few weeks. I think when you're in there, you're so enclosed in this bubble that you literally do just forget about the outside world, and then. As soon it's like we used to listen out for the dustman and stuff and it would just be like oh my god like the most exciting Life thing does ever. exist yeah <laughs> but like to get a message from home it just hits you and bursts the bubble and it's like yeah it's really emotional brings you back down to earth and and, yeah. and kind of where you really really are um now it used up quite a bit of battery power that's the shopping task that's going in there stephen and ashley went in first stephen quite clearly didn't think twice about it <laughs> yes let's just watch them 25 percent doesn't matter uh patrick what do you think a little bit selfish maybe to start the shopping task off taking something yeah completely selfish and quite right too um the fact is <laughs> Given the choice between, you know, not receiving a message from a member of your family and having to, you know, just listen to the people that you've been forced into this prison with, I know what I do. And in any case, thank God that Stephen did do that, because otherwise he would not have had the message from his mother. And by now, he'd have proposed, he'd have bought a house. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> more days and I think he probably will anyway. I mean that boy That's the awful truth. is smitten. Absolutely smitten. Uh, so Jolie, Kimberly and Helen got to watch the other housemates gossip about them. I mean was it just not so uncomfortable to watch? It was just like no oh, what's happening? Uh, ben when you were in there would you have wanted to have seen people talk about you? Not that they did because you're lovely but <laughs> I don't know. Um, would you have wanted to have I think if it, well, I, I think it would be quite upsetting, quite depressing. Um, but I think I'd probably have to have confidence in myself. I hadn't sort of annoyed people to such an extent that they had bad things to say. But, I mean, it, it was strange because I'm sure everybody in that house has said bad things about each other at one point anyway. And it was just a few people that were picked out, which was a bit weird. Which is what um, Danielle kind of pointed out, didn't she, towards the end of the show. She was like, you know... Everyone said something about everyone in this house, but they have obviously showed the ones yeah. that they know is going to cause exactly. maximum effect. Um, so Ashley's evil plan was revealed, and the uh, you ha hit the fan. <laughs> That's a new word in my dictionary. Um, what did you think of the gossip, Patrick? 
Um, well, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> You're evil. Well, oh, like, like everyone here didn't as well. Come on. No, it's big, it's big Brother Gold because, of course, what you have is people seeing what, you, what they never would normally see, which is people being absolutely vile about them. And also, you know, I think there was, a, there was something very interesting that, that was going on that, that they really weren't aware of, which is that um, by coming down really hard on, on Ashley for being, I suppose, what you would call manipulative, um, they completely forgot who was the really manipulative person in that situation, and that was Kimberly, Because she was the one saying, let's not be open and upfront and say we're really upset mm. about what you, what you said about us. Let's pretend, let's lie, let's conceal, and for the greater good, for the greater benefit. Kimberly's the manipulative one. Oh, you made me think about things I'd never normally think about, Patrick. It's my job. <laughs> it is, it's a job. Um, so, as we know, the u -ha I can't stop saying it. Uh, kicked off when the <laughs> when the girls returned to the house. Um, ben, how do you think Ashley handled it? Well, she sort of sat back and, and took it and didn't sort of fight back. But I think mainly that's because Helen is just so scary. I'm kind of scared scared watching her on the screen, and I, I know a few people like that. And, and sort of, I, I kind of she's feel not like doing herself might... any favours. Is no, she? No, she's not. She's very aggressive with, with with everything, and I think. I think actually Ashley's only uh, option was to sit back and just go, okay, because actually she had been caught red-handed because yeah. she did have an evil plan. Yeah. And um, there you know. Was four of them in on the conversation. Though. Sorry. There was four of them in on the conversation. It wasn't just the Ashley. conversation. Yeah, it wasn't well, just Ashley that was in on there, yeah. and Jarley and Kimberly were both sat there. Yeah. You know, and it's it's just well, why pick on Ashley? Danielle well, exactly. was sat there. Which is why it was so nice when Winston and Mark were like, hold on a minute, why are you singling one person out? What did you all think of that? Can I say something, please? I don't think I've got much of a choice, do I? <laughs> no, but with Ashley, she needs to say it to their faces too, because she just keeps bitching. She doesn't have to say all of it, but at least say some of it. She is being like a really bitchy schoolgirl, and she needs to say it to their faces. I know, but, but they, she needs to say some of it too, because when she says it, they won't come down on like a ton of bricks. They will, I think they'll respect her more for Do you it. honestly think that if they, she said it to their face, they wouldn't have a go at her? No. Of course they would. They'd have a go at her, so but she's, she needs she, to so stand she's staying out of arguments by not saying it to their faces, surely. But I know, but it's making her come really across really bitchy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not I doing Ashley any favours. I really prefer her being bitchy. I think it's absolutely hilarious yeah, when she goes into the diary yeah. room. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. I'm just waiting for her to have this big round with Helen. Yeah. I'm dying for it, because yeah. you can see it coming. She's holding, she's holding a lot of things down at the minute, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and she's watching what's going on in the, in the, in the house, but when she blows... Oh, my God, I can't shut the up tonight! It's amazing! Put it on the back burner, then everything else will come follow suit. So, a lot of Ashley fans in the audience yeah. tonight, though. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Um, ben, what did you make? What did you make to Winston and Mark and their, their part in the whole thing? Well, I mean, I think they did the absolute right thing because, you know, like everyone's saying, it was, it did feel a little bit like sort of ganging up and there were a lot of other people that were in, um, you know, that were doing it as well and no one else was getting kind of singled out. Um, but I don't think they liked it to start with, did they? So I think the, the fact that they saw something that was evil and that, that it sort of gave them an excuse to, to go mm. on the, the attack without getting criticised. Yeah. Um, of course, there was the whole Jale and Chris situation, which kind of got reconciled in a very different manner. Very kind of politely over the table. This is what I think. Think you're a bit out of order. Do you understand my point of view? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Patrick, what are your thoughts? I, I thought they were really disappointingly well adjusted. <laughs> we can't have all of them on. It's nice to see that some people can be civilised and just it was like you know, a it was not like a go at each other. It was like a training video for how to be how to confront someone. And <laughs> And do it in a way which, which prevents them from headbutting you. I mean, I, I strongly recommend that Helen watches that back, <laughs> takes a few notes, learning points. I mean, I love, I love Helen. I think she's a, an, a phenomenal housemate. I think she's brilliant. And I think she's much, con she, she's much misunderstood because actually... <laughs> When someone, when someone gets that angry, it's because they're that hurt. I right. think she's one of the most yeah. sensitive people in there, but okay. she doesn't know how to deal with that. I feel really sorry for Helen. I have done right from the beginning. She's a very angry, hurt person. Mm. And I think she doesn't know how to 
behave with other people. She's channeling it in the wrong way. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but that's okay. It's okay that she's, okay that she's, she's been hurt, but she's hurting everybody else. Yeah. She's not learned from what's happened to her. I don't think she knows how to behave with people. I don't think she understands yeah. So maybe her social yeah. skills aren't Exactly, on they've been affected by all the experiences she's had. And I think, well, yeah, but I think it's been affected by all the things she's had in her life. I think she's really angry and upset and sad. And also she lacks... when she got the pass to the final. That's when it started and she thinks she's untouchable. So you think because she has protection, yeah. she can say she what she can wants. say and do what she likes to any old Dick and Harry. <laughs> and Tom, and Tom. Uh, we've got to talk about Danielle's dog, Coco, in the diary room. Um, <laughs> was she right to drain the battery? For her pet? 100 percent Really? I thought that was so cute. The baby <laughs> talk, though. So the cute. baby talk, we can deal with that. I do that to my dog. <laughs> Get it, doggy! <laughs> Get it, you know what, doggy! That, that, that's her boy, that's her like boyfriend. Or is it huh? a girl? That's her kind that, that's her kind of girlfriend because she she doesn't have a relationship, does she, on the outside? So that <laughs> is like the, Allegedly yeah. not. Allegedly not, okay. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows with this lot? They're popping up everywhere. Um and so uh Ben, overall, do you think the housemates are having uh, the summertime of their lives. Oh, very good, very good. Um, I'm not the first to believe in that. That was an old A1 song. No one's going to know that. Um, <laughs> I but, um, remember it. Oh, good, thank you, it. thank you. Um, but what was the question? Oh, yes, I mean, no, I think they're having a horrible time. I think they're having a um, horrific time. But that's why it makes great TV. And um, that's why this uh, series of Big Brother is amazing. Because it's horrible. I bet you're glad you're everyone. not in there. <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. No, I know. I think, stay I think, uh, this side Absolutely. Of the I'm going to stay this side of the, of, of the uh, defence. Thank you all very much. Uh, still to come, body language expert Dame Judy James will be opening up on The Housemates. Plus, we'll reveal an explosive noms twist when the nominated Ooh. housemates will get the chance to save themselves from eviction. Ooh. You don't want to miss it. See you soon. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Side, this show that's very much like Stephen and Kimberly's relationship, intense and at times hard to watch, but we are a lot more exclusive. Uh, now, taking your mobile phone into the Big Brother house is totally off limits, so it's easy to miss a few calls while you're in there. Here's what happened when Matthew checked his voicemail. Well, the end of my Big Brother experience. What an absolute relief. Maybe I should listen to my messages now. Matthew, although your time in the house is over, Big Brother has one last task for you. Big Brother would like you to check your voicemail messages that have accumulated while you've been in the house. However, if you react to these messages, you will be punished. New messages. First message. Oh! Oh, sorry, Biggins here. I, I was just trying to leave a message for Matthew, but I, I, I fell asleep because he's been so dull in the house. Matthew, it's John McCurrick here. I have to say, you came over as the biggest drip there has ever been in the Big Brother house. Man up, man. And if you want advice, call me. It's Sam Bailey from The X Factor here. Oh, crap. It's the wrong number. I was meant to leave a message for the funny one, not you. House husband number one. I miss you loads and loads, but I bet the skid marks of society will be glad to know that you're out. See you soon. Hi, it's Matt Johnson here. I believe you called me a, bit, a few weeks ago about clearing your hard drive. Basically, I found out how you do it if you go start, all programs, data, data recovery, data erasing there should be a dialog box that comes up oh, click okay okay again okay okay again yes delete give it a try call me I understand that. hello there it's kim woodburn here just to say i had a look around your place while you were in the house it was grime central a palace of filth 
an abode of the abysmal. You've got one hell of a clean-up to do, so I suggest you jump to it. Call me if you need a hand, you filth pot. You have no new voicemail messages. Goodbye. I don't usually get that many messages. Thank you, Darwin. That's quite well. Um, now it's time to get up close and personal with the housemates' bodies, and here to explain what it all means is our favourite body language expert, Judy James. <laughs> so, just seen Matthew checking his voicemail. What's the house been like since he's left? Uh, do you know, I thought it was going to be the Jenga thing, that, that we'd remove him and not notice it, but it changed I didn't think anything would change. No, I loved, I loved him in there, but I just thought nothing... But we got this kind of lull of love, didn't we? I, I don't know if you remember, it's only a couple of days ago, but it, it was like seven brides for seven brothers. They all mm. paid off, and yeah. there's all, two heads sticking out under doomers. Yeah. I mean, even, and I've almost forgotten this... Um, Ashley and Helen were almost friendly for a while, yeah. and then more broke out, obviously. So. Obviously. Obviously. Um, one pairing that um, people are talking about and are quite baffled by, Danielle and Winston. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, what do you make of them? I've got my own... I'm going to rant now because I've got a conspiracy theory okay, here. OK, go, I mean, Judy, give it, us your it, theory. It's a bit like, you know, clap your hands if you think she's a virgin, because um, I... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't clap. No, she's not. <laughs> Wrong result. I don't know, yeah, I don't know what they're clapping, you or, or what or you just said. If it's me, it's all right. If it's, uh, you agree with me. I, I mean, A, she's a friend of Dexter's. Now, Dexter kept us all amused with all his stories and his lies and his tales of who he mm. was and who he wasn't. Um, so that made me slightly suspicious. Then you've got this thing about the finishing school. I don't think so, where she met her aristocats. Um, didn't really work for me. You've got the most potty-mouthed person that pretends to be a prude. I mean, the most genuine thing was her with that dog, you know, but I, I just think, for me, I think she's planned this So you this think all. She's, she's this is Dexter? She made all the moves on, uh, you know, Paul Winston, didn't she? I mean, he just still doesn't even realise what's happening. I mean, grabbing his leg and everything. Um, so Will it, do you think it will develop? Will anything happen with them? All oh, right, watch this space. I think she's planned to have sex with them in there, and I think we're supposed to go, oh my goodness, she's lost her virginity and everything. Yeah, I know, I'll yes. scrub my eyes. What? I, I, yes, of course, it would, wouldn't it be great television? Well, not great television, but, you know, this is... Uh, it was hard enough watching what happened last night. Don't use, don't use phrases like yeah, hard uh, enough, Emma. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, just that last little bit of... Of, of, uh, I can't even say what? it. I'm not even going to say it because it was just, it just made me feel strange. I had to strange. Um, clean my TV with pledge. When yeah, it was, it was very it. odd. <laughs> very, very odd. So you think her plan is to go in there, be this Virgin holier than queen now, that will and suddenly then... melt and, you know, yes. I think that's her plan. I might be totally Do wrong. Do you think Winston would go for it? Oh, of course. He'd, he wouldn't even notice. I mean, it would be like gone and finished and, you know, no. Yeah, I, I think he would be the ideal person to pick on. I mean, when she was chatting him up, it was really embarrassing. I bet you've never met a girl like me. And he's like, mm, I, I don't know. And I was like, <laughs> um, there is another pairing as well that seems to have formed since Matthew left the house. Yes. Let's take a look. Um, so, aren't we saying I'm dying? None of your business. <laughs> Sorry. Are you upset about the Matthew? Yeah. yeah. I miss Matthew. But I'm happy that you're still here. But I do miss Matthew a lot, but I'm happy you're still here. I want you to stay this week. I'll make sure you fucking stay then. Yeah. I'm not getting a strop. I'm not getting a strop and start yelling at Mark or going to have none to my benefits. I'll be good. I'll be my best bit. I'll be the best behaved. I'll be very nice to you, Mark. <laughs> Actually, no, I won't be nice to you. I'll treat you as you deserve to be treated. And that's according to how nice you are to me. Ow! So what do you make to this pairing? I just, they're lovely together, aren't they, as well? They're nice to watch because it's genuine. You know, uh, whether it's sexual or not, and I have to say, uh, he was doing these little sort of hip 
pelvic things going on there, but that might just have been sort of excited child because you've made a friend. But uh, you, you, can, you can see real bonding signals. I mean, they tease one another, which is a very developed sense of communication. Yeah. And, they're, yeah, it, they're just nice to watch. So I, I like... They're, for the, they're the most genuine, whether it's sexual or not, I don't care, but genuine bonds. Um, it's all kicked off again yes. tonight. <laughs> um, what did you think of the girls' behaviour? I, I just, because it actually terrified me. I mean, I, you know, watching those three get revved up, watching that gossiping that was going on. What they did was something, if you go back to school days, um, they did something that would be genuinely threatening and horrifying because they came out laughing and joking, but it was a kind of pantomime laughing and joking. Now, that is, is um, industrial strength masking, and in the animal kingdom, that would really terrify the other animals because they'd think, are they really plotting to kill me? So what it did was, by the time they got to the group, the rest of the pack were all beginning to get slightly traumatised because why they're laughing, should we laugh as well? Oh no, I don't think they mean it, I think there's something horrible coming. What that meant was none of them knew who was for it. And by the right. time we found out it was Ashley, the rest of them went into this kind of, thank God it's not me. And what that meant was that Helen could just attack Ashley with very other few people joining in to protect her because they were just completely relieved it wasn't them and became huge cowards on the back of that. And, and what were you getting from Ashley watching her? Well, actually, I mean, we do need to remind ourselves, you know, she's not somebody that, she's not nasty Nick, she's somebody that's actually taking on uh, the, the, the most horrible person in that house, you know, and I think it's a shame the way she's doing it is probably making her unpopular, but she's got guts, I think you can't deny that. She was terrified, though. If you saw what, her knees were up, she got her arms folded, her little face, her eyes were sort of what's going on, then I think she realised this was all coming at her. She wouldn't show it verbally because that would be a sign of weakness and then mm. they'd just go for the gullet. But um, I think she was genuinely terrified. And what did you make to the other housemates? Where were they? I mean, apart from two exceptions, where was Danielle? Danielle's supposed to be her wingwoman. Mm. She was just sitting there like that. I mean, big guys like Marlon, they were doing what's called cut-offs, no eyes. If I sit here like this, Helen won't even see that I'm here. All the, guy, all the big guys were hiding, apart from two exceptions. And I love Mark for actually taking on Helen at that point. But best He's of not all, afraid to do that, is he? No, but the hero is Winston. And Winston, Winston for the second time he now. Right. He, he stood there like a policeman. He was compl I mean, he made a great nightclub bouncer. He moved in between them. And he was, he was absolutely spotting the fact, two against one, this isn't fair and he will not back down when he takes on Helen and I think that's all for, all for the good for him. Well done. Um, how, will that change the house now? Now that Winston say, has stood up to her twice, Mark on numerous occasions has kind of said, hold on, I, I don't think you're being fair. You know, yeah. it's three on one or, or whatever it's been in the past. It, will that change friendships, do you think? I think so. I mean, I think that whether they will go and cling back to their partners again, I don't know. But I think the hierarchy is taking a seismic shift because I think now I would actually be putting Winston up there as number one. I mean, he really is the brave guy in the house and he's shown all the other guys how to do it. Then I would put Mark and then Christopher, who's also taken on Helen. Good for them. Yeah. Um, Judy, thank you very much. Thank you. So, the task finished this afternoon and Big Brother wielded its power once again when it sensationally gave the nominees a chance to rescue themselves from eviction. Would you like to see what went down? Yes! Yeah. Housemates, as you know, you all faced the public vote this week. Big Brother is giving you the opportunity to use the final BB app this app is the safety app. If the app is used, it will drain all the remaining battery life. So, whichever housemate presses their silver button first will be the housemate to gain immunity. Ashley Big will Brother do it. will let you know when the app Ashley's comes definitely live. doing it. What are we doing? I'm not pressing Wait. it, I'm out. I'm not pressing it. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah, I'm Ashley, not are you 100% sure on this, Ashley? This is Big Brother. Housemates must remain silent. Are we all not pressing it? Housemates must remain silent. The safety app and your buttons will become live once the countdown starts on the screen in front of you. Yeah, how did I know that was going to happen? What? Marlon's pressed it. You stupid! Oh, wow. my oh. fucking god. Hold it. 
Oh my god, he oh went too long. God. He's done it that quick. I'll let the public decide my fate, not exactly. me, because I want to save my own bacon. What a fucking prick. He made an agreement. I swear to God, I've got goosebumps. That's it now. We all suffer for that. How is he not being wise? In case no one says it, well done, Marlon. Congrats. Congratulations, Marlon. Darla, just went, congratulations, Marlon. Ashley did as well. Yeah, she's doing sarcastic. Yeah, I think it's sarcastic. Sarcastic? Both of them. Housemates, as the battery is dead, you have lost the shopping task. The house will receive only an economy delivery this week. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm fucking disgusted. <laughs> Why? You're you are right. Why? Because you have just coward. made all of us You had two suffer. seconds, mate. You hit it. Two fucking... You've got the least in the Everyone, we all watched the whole thing. I know you watched it. Yeah. I would me. never force everybody in here oh, except I'm, myself I'm to live on basic rations because, because basic I haven't got the balls to face a fucking public vote. It. Nobody wants to face a public vote, but you fucking do it. That's it. We're all fucking. Now we're going hungry. No bread, no sickies, no nothing. So... What do you think? <laughs> Absolutely spineless. She's now going to spend the next week, two weeks asleep while the other housemates eat basic rations. Unbelievable. He's done nothing whilst he's been in there and now he's going to make everybody else suffer while he snores. But isn't it every man for himself in there? It's a game show. Yeah, but he's going to go They're going to hate him now because he's going to have yeah, like... It's a game show. He's not bobbed about that. That's OK, but he's not going to have a very nice time, is he, for the next couple of weeks? He's probably not. With the reaction that I've just yeah. seen, yeah, I don't think they're taking it very well. Now, so what is yeah. the well, you know what? He went, you know, even if he stayed, he was never going to win it, so can we just get him out? I really don't like Marlon. We can't now, because he's just got himself to play, isn't he? After two seconds. Um, Patrick, Patrick, what do you think? I'm, well, everyone... Surprise, two seconds. No, no, no. As we just saw, they all had a kind of agreement. We're not going to push it, right? We're going to get the shopping budget. Beep, beep, ding. Oh, why go along with the crowd? <laughs> Do your own thing. Enjoy it. And, you know, he must have known he was going to take a massive load of flack. So I kind of respect him for just sort of doing what he wants to do. And, I mean, look at what, look at what he had to put up with as soon as he did it. Yeah. That, I mean, that's like vultures coming down on him. Nikki, would you have done it? Um, I might have done, but <laughs> it, is, it is horrible when it's you against the house. And that was the case with me quite a lot of the time. <laughs> but um, I think the reason they're kicking off is because they're thinking, oh, my God, I should have done it. Yeah. Like, because yeah. he's done it, they, they think that they should have done it. OK, so, uh, so that's what went down. Marlon took a whole two seconds to save himself and is no longer up for eviction. The vote lines are now open. Who goes? You decide! This week, Ashley, Chris, Christopher and Jale all face a public vote. Who goes? You decide. From a landline, call 090 2044 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. From a mobile, call 650 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. For Ashley, add 02. For Chris, add 03. For Christopher, add 04. For Jale, add 07. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 50 pence. Other landlines may vary. Or you can vote via the new Big Brother app, where two votes will cost you 99 pence. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. Votes cast after the lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Welcome back to Big Brother's Bit on the Side, the show that's even more excitable than a Scottish chihuahua. Yay! So cute! Uh, right, just like Stephen, it's time for us to focus all of our attention onto Kimberly. This is what she did in her audition. I'm prepared to be ruthless, but at the same time, that's just my personality. People either like you or they don't. I am Kimberly Kislevich. I am 23 years old and I am a Playboy bunny. Everyone has their own sexy character, and mine is not really the, you know, girl next door, but it's kind of like the rocker girl next door, I guess. Biggest tips, number one, definitely make eye contact and kind of have, like, your eyes kind of, like, half closed like that. Number two is always speak very slowly. Number three, remember to mirror their, their body um, their body contact. The personality that I give off 
is um, it's not really feminine. I have quite a masculine personality. I think that I give off a really bad first impression to females. Aesthetically, I really like floppy hair, you know, like some guy that's straight out of a rock band. That would be nice. I definitely don't need, you know, a rich guy, um, but I do want someone that is rich intellectually. I can be quite feisty, and I know that that's very entertaining, especially um, to be like, you know, a Playboy model, but also to be very, you know, argumentative and and you know, I can hold a very interesting conversation. But at the same time, I'm also quite a party girl and I can have a lot of fun in that sense as well. Thank you. She said more in that two minutes than she said in the last five weeks. Oh, I just spat. I said in the last five weeks on the show. Sorry if anybody caught that in the promo. Uh, Nikki, who is she? I don't know. I don't think she knows either. I think she's been very guarded since she she's has. been in there. She said though, hasn't she, on a, on a number of occasions that she doesn't give off very much, she doesn't show very much, she is quite a close person. She doesn't look anyone in the eye. She really? rolls them a lot. Yeah, she rolls them. <laughs> she's very, Especially very, when she's Stephen's very clever. talking. Yeah. She's very clever though, so I think she actually probably knows what she's doing. Actually, because and even when you saw her coming out of the of the diary room after she'd heard, and she wanted to keep it all all sort of uh, stum, she didn't want to say anything about yeah. it. So you know that was just adding to her gameplay. But you know, the Stephen is from the description, they're completely the wrong type of person. She for, wants a little grungy yeah. rocker, doesn't she? Um, yeah, which yeah. Is definitely not she's like the most cleanest. Huh? Ah, you think Ash? She's better suited to Ash, isn't she? Mm. From what she... Oh, yeah, no, not she another described. pairing in the house. I don't think I can <laughs> quite take it. Um, she has spent the, most of the series quite calm, quite considered, quite ladylike until last night. <laughs> and there was that little fumble under the duvet cover. <laughs> Patrick! <laughs> Firstly... I, I, I don't know what happened, and I didn't know, yes, what, you I didn't, do. I didn't know what those subtitles meant. <laughs> I don't need you to explain. Um, but, but what did you think? Is she forgetting about these cameras that are all over the house? First of all, I think um, I, I'm put off sex for life. Um, <laughs> but secondly, I don't think the problem is that, that, that she's now forgetting that the cameras are there. I think she really needs to remember that the cameras are there and needs to remember that you cannot say things like, we were on a break without inviting immense amounts of ridicule. Does she not know what happened when that was said on Friends? Yes! <laughs> we were on a break! <laughs> and, it, and it wasn't once. Then she, and then she, then she goes, um, oh, we were on a, on a summer break. Like her relationship is a sort of media studies degree. <laughs> Um, she did, we did see her say to Big Brother in the diary room tonight that she wasn't supposed to come in here and fall in love with someone. It's quite big words. She's um, not in love. Well, Judy, you are the body language expert. How does she really feel about him, do you think? I, she's like a little blow-up sex doll, isn't she? With, with little eyes that roll and that's it. I mean, that's she just offensive. stares at the ceiling. I, <laughs> I have to say, I do Who like that. Look at Judy on the panel! <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to watch that duvet fumble to find out who was doing what to who, so I deserve to uh, have a bit of a break. No, I, I, I like her. I think she's very intelligent. I think we don't get that many very intelligent women in Big Brother who don't then turn into some screaming banshee. So, but uh, her problem is, and I think... You're not talking about Nikki, are you? No, <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Um, but I think she has got a problem, I, and she needs Stephen for reasons other than the duvet stuff. Um, she's she's been very assertive. She's sustained a state called adult assertive, and that means calm, logical. She doesn't show emotions. Now that's all right if you're doing it in business, because she can go home at night and just let rip. But she's there 24/7 doing that, so she needs him there, even if it's just to lay next to him like a blow-up doll, waiting while fumbly things go on. Okay. But I don't think she's in love with him. No. From uh, from Judy to someone who does have a very strong opinion of Kimberly, and that is Stephen's mum, Lynn. Uh, she's on the phone with us again this evening. Um, so, Lynn, I, I, I kind of feel like Hi. I'm doing quite well now. Uh, so I know, I know. It's lovely talking to you, Emma. So it feels a bit weird asking this first question, but um, what did you make of your son's actions last night in the uh, bedroom? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. With a um, big old yeah, W I mean, at the front. It, don't get me wrong, it is hard to watch sometimes. So, I mean, you, you, you see that happening, you think, oh, my God. <laughs> However, it's Big Brother and 
you know, it's not the first time it's happened on Big Brother, so I sort of let it go over my head, mm. to be honest with you. Good. Um, I just kind of closed my eyes and, and just thought, oh dear, I didn't just see that happen. Um, however, uh, that phrase was trending worldwide last <laughs> night, apparently. Open it. <laughs> oh! I don't know what he's thinking of. You're a mother. I know, but I don't know what he's thinking of, Emma. I know what he's thinking of. So, yeah, Let's not talk about it. Let's yeah. stop. Let's stop right there. Um, we saw, oh, God. Um, we saw you warn Stephen um, in your yeah. message tonight uh, um, to be careful. Um, why should he be careful? I, I'll tell you why he should be careful. Because, you know, I met the boyfriend. The boyfriend's been on national television. I don't believe there is a relationship that's finished. I think it is. I think he's involved in her work life. And sadly, I think it's a publicity stunt. Really? Yeah, I when, do. Um, when did you meet him? I met him on the launch night, and he, you know, when he came, when she came through the doors, I actually said, and I didn't know who he was, and I said, wow, I think Stephen's going to really like her, and he popped up and said, this is my girlfriend. Statement. Oh, right, okay. Um, so the so, advice that you've given him, do you think he'll take it on board? I think he's thinking about it. Um, having said that, I think he's pretty much fallen for her don't get me wrong he's definitely fallen for her he does seem but to have the thing is is that you know like you know i think that she's probably going to think oh my god he's got this message uh, the mother doesn't like her how am i going to to make this work and all of a sudden she's sort of like sort of confess her undying love for Stephen in the diary room so therefore she's trying to get approval right okay and has she got that Mm, don't know, let's just see what happens. Yeah? Okay, um, and I've got to ask you, there are rumours knocking around Twitter that Stephen actually has girlfriend. No, Michelle? True. Somebody call Michelle? No, Michelle, we've known for about three years. Um, he's sort of like, don't get me wrong, he's seen her a couple of times about two years ago. They're just mates, she comes around here, she sees the other boys as well, and she has a few drinks. But there's absolutely no relationship. He went in there single, he doesn't fancy her, he doesn't want to be with her, he's totally single. Okay, Lynn, thank you very much. Cheers, Emma. Bye, Bye. everyone. Um, okay, still to come, we'll be finding out what happened when Christopher and Winston were let on the loose on Twitter. But first, there are four housemates on the chopping block. Who goes? You decide! This week, Ashley, Chris, Christopher and Jale all face a public vote. Who goes? You decide. From a landline, call 090 2044 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. From a mobile, call 650 58 and add the number of the housemate you want to evict. For Ashley, add 02. For Chris, add 03. For Christopher, add 04. For Jale, add 07. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 50 pence. Other landlines may vary. Or you can vote via the new Big Brother app where two votes will cost you 99 pence. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. Votes cast after the lines close won't count. You can find terms on the Big Brother website. Welcome back to Better Side, the show that wishes grannies would send us messages. Get in touch, pensioners. Yay! Oh, we've got a few in tonight. Hello, ladies. Here's the news. At 12.32 this afternoon, Kim and Helen had a heart to heart. We can get to, get to see headlines as well. I know. I don't want that. You don't want to see it? No. There's no way to control that. It's not pleasant. Not but pleasant it's... doesn't even come close to what it will be for me. What are you so worried about? I'm sure it's going to be horrific. I won't stay. Especially not after last night. I'm not having her have something fucking thinking she's got one over on me. The, my, my theory on that is if there's someone that thinks that they're more intelligent, let them think that. You're, gonna, you're in a better position because they don't have any belief in you. Let them think that and show them when they least expect it. That's, that's how I see it. I don't really have pride on the whole, oh, people think I'm here, here, here. Like, if they think that I'm down there, I'll let them think that. And if she thinks it on you, it's an advantage. Obviously, she doesn't, <laughs> obviously she doesn't know you, <laughs> so it's an advantage. It's annoying for now, but 
You have nothing obviously to be scared about. It's just her that thinks that. So let her think that. Let her live in her own little bubble. And then pop it when you like. So I think what Kimberly's trying to say is that everyone can just think what they want to think. Yeah? <laughs> Good. I'm glad we got that one straight. Uh, at 2.46 this afternoon, Mark took a trip to Big Brother's Beauty Salon. Hello, Mark. Hi. Would you like to use the beauty app? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Mark, this is perfect. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't realise it was that far back. Mark, enjoy your pampering experience. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, I want to ask so many questions that I can't even ask. It's killing me. Have a relax. Oh my god, they are amazing. Oh, yeah, that is a beautiful. <gasps> Who needs food when you can have a fake bake? And at 11.25 this morning, Christopher and Winston were set for the task of asking the Twitter world a series of questions. Um, Big Brother, the question is, what do you think about the arguments between Kim, Helen, Danielle and Ashley? Winston, what question would you like to post? Uh, yeah, so are you gorgeous girls out there feeling the Wintsmeister? What are you saying, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Do we want to see these? Arguments between them all are always full of double standards, hypocrisy and self-importance. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hypocrisy saying, oh, I would never slag someone off, and then they stand there slagging someone off. Yeah. So, or like, or I'm really Yeah, that's what I was saying last night. Yeah. That's what I was saying. You, you, how can you say that when it's... Fuck it, do you know what I mean? How can you be angry about something when you probably You've said You've done it, exactly the same thing? Yeah. That's been hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's needed to happen. The other housemates need to see Ashley and Danielle for what they really are. OK. Yeah. That's true as well. Your personality and body with Ash's face. Now that would be a win. What do you mean with Ash's face? Your personality and body. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you 100% love the Winchmeister? Sweet and hot. Definitely my winner. Aww. But Danielle and Winston are cringe. <gasps> oh, amazing. There's nothing between me and Danielle. There's nothing between me and that. Are you sure about that? Yeah, 100%. Nothing going on, eh? Nothing going on. In my day, FTSE meant something. Did it not? That's today's news. Uh, Patrick and Ben, there you are. What's happening up in the reality gallery? Um, well, Marlon's been hiding under the cover for most of the evening. Um, I bet. It says here we're not sure if he's crying or not. I think we know he is. He might be giggling. He might be going, wah, ha, 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 unlikely, take unlikely. that all of you. Uh, Winston has told Big Brother it's the end of Triple B, describing the situation like boys own breaking up. Um, Winston also goes on to say that uh, for Marlon to earn his forgiveness, he needs to give immunity to Ashley. Okay. And Stephen is more bothered by the fact that it took Marlon two seconds to push the button to save himself. Go figure. Anything else? Yes, uh, Marlon isn't going to hold it against Winston that he's angry with him and doesn't want to talk to him. Okay. And One more. And <laughs> housemates have eaten their evening meal together, apart from Marlon, who stayed in bed. Oh and did his evil laugh under the duvet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boys. I'm going over here. Come with me. Come with me. Hi. So what's happening in digital? It is all kicking off about Marlon. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's all going on. Obviously, we haven't seen the end of this. All the updates are going to be on the Channel 5 website yep. and Big Brother social media, so stay with us all night. Okay. It's all going on. I've got a couple of tweets just to yes. give you a gauge of the public's reaction here. Yep. Firstly, Matthew, ex-housemate Matthew, says, let's be honest, Ashley's eviction is guaranteed anyway. All Marlon has done is secure his fate in next week's. Uh, Nikki, <laughs> what have you got? Well, we've got Jessica Louise... Glad Marlon's safe. Get Ashley out. Okay. Can't stand her anymore. Yeah. Um, Jale out. Controversial. Ashley is the best girl in there and has not been given a fair chance. Oh, okay. 
seems to be agreeing in here. Thank you so much. Um, that is it for tonight. Thanks to all of my guests. We'll be here again tomorrow with former EastEnders Sean Williamson, funny man Matt Richardson and Big Brother 7's Imogen Thomas. Have a brilliant night, whatever you're doing, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>